given question a block of 20 newton is placed over wedge determine the applied force p required to move the wedge as shown in diagram the angle of friction for all contact surfaces is 15 degree let us understand given question with the help of diagram we have to find out magnitude of applied force p so that the wedge will move in the direction of the applied force if we observe the diagram then the block with weight 20 newton is placed over the wedge so as the wedge will move in the direction of applied force then this block will slightly lifted we have to show the direction of motion for this block as well as motion of the wedge so we will show the motion of wedge is towards the left hand side and the motion of block is in the upward direction now we will draw the free body diagram we will first consider this wedge so if we observe one surface of the wedge is making an angle of 20 degree with the horizontal line the motion of the wedge is given or shown towards the left hand side so we will show here the direction of frictional force which is in the opposite direction of the motion so i will show here frictional force towards the right hand side now this is about the lower surface now the upper surface of the wedge is also in contact with the block so here also we have to show frictional force so there is the same direction that is towards the right hand side and this frictional force will be parallel to this surface that is the upper surface so it is having slope so we will show here the direction of the frictional force and we will give here the suffix to that is f now we have to show normal reaction so normal reaction always acts in the perpendicular direction of the surface so the surface is horizontal so we have to show vertical normal reaction and which is passing through the center so we will show here normal reaction n1 now in the same way for this upper surface we have to show normal reaction so this surface is inclined so we have to draw here one perpendicular line to the inclined surface so i will draw here perpendicular line and this is n2 now we will draw here one construction line we will draw one vertical line now if we observe for this horizontal dotted line this vertical line is perpendicular line and for this inclined surface this n2 is perpendicular so angle in between these two perpendicular lines is the same that is equal to 20 degree so we have to show here 20 degree angle now we have to show the resultant so this resultant always makes an angle equal to angle of limiting friction with normal reaction now how to show the resultant here for f1 and n1 so here is the point of contact for both of these forces so we have to show resultant in the same direction and this resultant is r1 now this r1 is making angle equal to angle of limiting friction that is equal to 15 degree with n1 so we have to show here 15 degree angle now in the same way we have to show resultant r2 so i will show the resultant r2 in the same direction and this r2 is also making angle of 15 degree with n2 so here is 15 degree we have to show this force p that is the force here applied force p so this is the direction of force now if we observe this r1 r2 and this p are the concurrent forces because all these forces passing through the center of the wedge now we will move for the free body diagram of the block 
Now this block is moving in the upward direction. So we have to show frictional force. So frictional force in the opposite direction that is in the downward direction. So this time we will say suffix 3 that is F3. Now we have to show normal reaction. So normal reaction is always perpendicular to the surface. So this is vertical surface. So we will show normal reaction N3 in the horizontal direction. Now we have to show resultant. So it is easy to show resultant that is in the same direction of the direction of F3 and N3. So it is R3 and this R3 is also making an angle of 15 degree with normal reaction. That is we have to show here. Then weight, weight always acts in vertically downward direction passing through the center. So this weight is 20 Newton. Now for this surface we have to show the resultant. If we observe the direction of F2 is towards the right hand side. Now we have to show for this lower surface of the block this direction is in the opposite direction because magnitude is same but direction is opposite. So I will use the same suffix 2 and we will show here the direction of F2. So F2 is here. Magnitude is same but direction is opposite. Now we have to show normal reaction. So normal reaction also perpendicular to the inclined surface. So we will show here N2. Now, for, because this is slightly inclined N2, so I will draw here one construction line, that is one vertical line. Now, this vertical line and this N2 is also making an angle of 20 degree. Now, what is the reason behind that? Because if we observe N2 is perpendicular to the inclined surface and this is the vertical line which is perpendicular to the horizontal line. So both are making an angle of 20 degree. So these two perpendicular line at the point of intersection making the same angle 20 degree. Now we will show the resultant. So resultant is making an angle of 15 degree with normal reaction. So at an angle of 15 degree we have to show resultant that is R2. Here is angle 50 degree. Now if we observe this R2 that is the resultant is having same magnitude but direction is opposite at the surface of block as well as at the surface of wedge. If we observe the free body diagram of the block then there are three forces R2, R3 and 20 Newton which are passing through the center of the block. That means these three forces are concurrent forces and we will apply here the Lamy's theorem. So we will first rearrange these forces in such a way that these three forces will act in the outward direction from the center of the block. So we will show here the center of the block with the help of this point. So this is the center of the block. Now we will show 20 Newton. So which is in the downward direction. So we will show the direction from the center is outward direction. So this is 20 Newton. Now we will show R2. So R2 also passing through the center of block and it is making an angle of 20 plus 15. That is equal to 35 degree with vertical line. So we have to show direction in the outward direction. So here is if I extend this and passing through the center then here is the direction of the R2. And it is making angle of 35 degree with vertical. So here is 35 degree. Now we have to show R3. So R3 also passing through the center and if I extend this then its location is in this quadrant and it is making 15 degree angle with horizontal. So here is the horizontal line. So we have to show this R3 and it is making 15 degree angle with horizontal line. Now in the same way we will show here the 
ramisthedam because for the wage also there are three forces R2, R1 and P which are passing through the center of the wage. So we will rearrange the forces. Now this P we have to show direction towards the left hand side. So if I extend this it is passing through the center and direction is left hand side. So I will show here force P. Then we will show R1. So R1 it is also passing through the center of wedge and making an angle of 15 degree with vertical. So if we extend this R1 then its location is opposite quadrant. So R1 I am making an angle of 15 degree with vertical. So same angle 15 degree. Now R2. So R2 is making angle of 35 degree with vertical. So if I extend this then it is also passing through the center and the location is in this quadrant. So it is with vertical angle equal to 35 degree. So it is R2 and here angle is 35 degree. We will apply Lamy's theorem. If we observe this diagram then we can say that R3 divided by sign of angle between other two forces that is R2 and 20. So here this total angle is 180, 180 minus 35 that is equal to 145 is equal to R2 divided by sine of angle between R3 and 20. So it is equal to 90 minus 15 that is sine of 75 is equal to 20 divided by sine of angle between R2 and R3. So it is equal to 35 plus 90 plus 15 that is equal to sine of 140. So this we can solve this 20 divided by sine of 140 and we can find out R3 and R2. So R3 is 17.84 Newton and R2 is 30 Newton. Now we will move to the second diagram. Now if we observe this diagram then here R2 magnitude is same but direction is opposite. So it is making 35 that is the same angle with vertical line. So we can make the relation in between this R2 and P because magnitude of R2 is known and we have to use this value. So how we can write P divided by sine of angle between other two forces that is R1 and R2. So how to find out? So it is equal to 180 minus 15 minus 35 and that is equal to 130 is equal to R2 divided by sine of angle between other two forces. So it is 90 plus 15 that is sine of 105. So we have to find out only P so no need to write about this R1 because magnitude of R2 is known and if we put here the magnitude then we can find out the value of P and that is equal to 23.8 Newton.